Finnish death metal band Psycho Paralysis have been going on more than 10 years, but only one full-length album out. What they have mostly been doing is a bunch of demos and other mini-releases. And this one from uh, some two years ago, three years ago, I guess, uh, 2017, in fact, Voracious has two songs, both the band's shortest song so far and the longest one. And they're presented here, right there, in a very simple way. Two songs, roughly less than 12 minutes. And uh, CDR, MCD is the name of the game here. The band has labeled their style as dynamic death metal, whatever that means. Um, is it technically saying that the band is not exactly the brutal kind, not it, not it is an old school style, but more a kind of a modern style incorporating melodic parts, going a little bit on the um, progressive side maybe, but not exactly technical of nature. Very simple, right? So I think the word dynamic death metal kind of uh, gives you a little bit indication what's going on here. And as on Metal Archive side, it seems the band is actually called progressive death metal. Can't really argue with that. I mean, having heard most of the releases throughout the years, except these couple of uh, latest ones, Until Now, that is this voracious. Uh, but the Human Disposition, Escalation, Forest of Ignorance, Deligion, they all have been going on with rather nice ways. I mean, the band has creating their own style, and in my opinion, they have been quite well doing with it. Now, the only problem is, maybe it's because of the lineup changes, maybe it's some other problems, but the band hasn't really been progressive since the, well, early demos of 2010. Now, it seems like the band, when they founded their style, they had the idea what it's gonna be and all that stuff. And one could only wonder why it hasn't really evolved. I mean, it's been seven years between this one and the first ones, but the style is more or less quality-wise and I guess in composition-wise, pretty much the same. Can't really complain about the quality of, uh, you know, the production, nor the vocals, nor the uh, how they handle their instruments but music wise it's more like yeah it's decent it's easy to get into easy to kind of like but it's a little lukewarmish experience that is to say while these guys know their instruments and while they totally have their own death style in their death metal and by death i mean the band um it seems like they kind of still lack the magic touch when it comes to creating these songs. So they more like have uh, cool riffs and cool ideas here and there, but most of the time it's just quite okay. It's more like a demo band still trying to figure out what's the next big step, and they haven't been able to take it. Now, I don't want to put this band down. Actually, I think this is a rather decent release, much like the previous ones. But like I said, the magic is missing. The one that separates quite nice from the really good one. So the band operating here is more like still doing the same after 10 years, well, seven years. Anyway, I kind of hope that the, the band will find their own sound even more and they are able to incorporate these really cool riffs after one another. Now it's more like two thirds is not that great. And every now and then there are really great parts which then again, make the whole feeling more like decent not versus good. Anyway, um, the band is already out with a newer single from 2019, so you don't have to stick with it. But anyway, go to take a look at the band's Bandcamp site in case you just happen to be into progressive death metal and proceed from that. This is all from Rauda. See you soon. More reviews coming your way.